Welcome to the Adapt or Die podcast. This podcast explores ideas related to self-growth, finding meaning, and living a more fulfilled lifestyle. It's your host, with the most, Armel Tala. And it's your host, on the low, Ben Smith. We're two college students on our own path of lifelong learning with the hope that you will join us in our journey. And now, it's time for the next episode of the Adapt or Die podcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Welcome, Ben. Today, we're going to be talking about something that I don't do enough of. Uh-oh. Absolutely. Like, it's actually, it actually makes me so mad. I'm, I, we're not even going to say the topic, but I'm just going to elaborate on it. And yeah, it, keep going. You I guys guess. You guys, I, by the time we say it, you guys guess. But it actually makes me really frustrated. Like, I've been trying so, like, ever since you've told me everything. Because ben, Ben's the person that really introduced me to being like, yo, this is really important. Like, you really need to be doing this. And I'm just like, yeah, no, nah, I thought, you know, I, I'm built different. I'm not. But... You know, I've been able to function and get to where I'm at. But imagine I mean, you made it. You still but made imagine it. if I re- if I did it. You know, if I got the right amount. You of, could be Superman. If I got the right amount of hours, that's a hint for y'all right there. But no, the thing that makes me really upset though, so it's, it's just like I know how important it is. I know I want to, but like when I get to that point at night, it's like my willpower. I and mean, we've talked about this. A reference to another one. It's like my willpower just does not allow me. It's like I'll just I'll just get caught up doing a whole bunch of other stuff before I go to sleep. It's like my brain still hasn't put put to oh i just said you just it. said that oh, but my like, brain uh, hasn't put put in my mind that yo f your phone don't scroll on instagram there's nothing important you're looking at no one is snap if someone's snapping you this late at night it is for demon hours time and i am not that i am a holy <laughs> man holy holy man of god <laughs> holy I'm man now. and last thing i don't know but yes the topic today is get your sleep Get your sleep. Get get your sleep, people. Get your sleep. It, it's actually really important. Like, it is so important, guys. We're gonna stress it today. We're gonna stress it today. But um, how how's school been? How's school been? It's been pretty good, honestly. It's been it's, it's picking up right now. Uh, but what? How's how's school for you, Mo? It's not been good, bro. It's not been good. I'm not gonna lie to you. This CS stuff is different, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this year, yeah. And then math too. I was like, I was like, yeah, man, I love math, bro. I, I'm about math. I'm about that action, right? But like, I learned a whole new math, and it just made me feel like a I whole don't. new math probability. It's not whole. Oh. Like it is. It's a. And it's a completely it's a different. different side, it's a different yeah. field. Different completely side of different. math than just computing calculus. Yeah. Like I was like, I can integrate. I can. Oh, this we're getting a little too nerdy. Okay, but guys. Anyways, school's not been good. It's not been letting me get enough sleep. I'm gonna get on it though. I don't even care at this point. It's what I'm. Gonna, I'm telling myself. Once I hit. Once I hit. Once I hit eleven o'clock, once I hit eleven o'clock, just like out, t- t- turning everything. I like I'm stopping all my work and I'm just preparing for bed. And then once I hit twelve, I'm out, like closing my eyes and just. What time do you wake up? Seven. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And so a, a nice eight hours. Yes, sir. Yeah. So all right, all right. But to start to start it off, why is sleep? Why do we need sleep? Like, you know, everyone's like, yo, 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 we need sleep. We need sleep. Mm-hmm. Like, da 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 da. But like, actually, why? No one ever says like. I mean, the real question is, what, what about you doesn't need sleep? Like, you, sleeping helps every single... There is not a single organ in your body that does not need sleep. Everything is affected by your sleep. Your brain, heart, lungs, every, everything, okay? And so, let's talk about some things that you may have not known that sleep is very important to. So, uh, Lower sleep is actually correlated to lower testosterone and lower sperm count. That's for you guys. Wow. How does that make you feel, Mel? Lower, lower, lower testosterone. testosterone. You know how important testosterone is for you know, I'm athletic real activity. With you. I, I really don't understand you what don't? testosterone is like that important for. It's like, very important. Like it's, I just hear like testosterone. You need it. And I'm just like confused. <laughs> like if it's like too, if it's a bad thing to have too much of it. If it's like because you know you hear people with steroids like oh too much testosterone. Like, I mean I don't know the specifics, but I do know like. No testosterone, like, you're not going to get, like, muscle growth is harder. Like, when you're older, your testosterone lower. levels are so lower. It, so it's, like, like think about, like. It allows like, us to, like, get think s- of, stronger, faster. and Yeah, like, it, you have an easier time doing those things. So it's, like, our Superman hormone. I, in a way, I guess. Honestly, I don't know too much about it. This I ain't, know we, it's, this ain't it's, episode is not about testosterone. Yeah, yeah. All right. Anyways. But, but what else? Continuing. Move on. What, what, why else is sleep? Your ability important? to learn is crucial. Sleep, no, sleep is crucial no, yeah, to your yeah, ability no. to learn. Actually, let me, let, me, let, me, let me hop on my soapbox real quick. 
this one, this is one of the big reasons why I'm like super mad at myself for not getting enough sleep because I'm like, one, for me, I want to, when I do like certain classes I take, I want to like really understand. I want to make right. sure like I fully absorb all the information. And my classes are in the morning as well, too. So, like, I heard this, I, um, I was listening to a podcast, it was Lex Freeman with, I think it's the same dude that you did most of your research from. Matthew book Walker? Over. I, I think so. Okay. I think so. I'm not sure. But he was just talking about like, you are like a sponge. You are like a fresh sponge whenever you sleep and you can absorb information so much easier. And that to me, like the difference, and, I, and I've noticed because like a lot of times when I was in high school, I would not, I would be dead tired by the time I get to my physics class. Like what, it was what like you, after what was you doing? Just not Stuff. sleeping, bro. Just not sleeping. Like getting four hours of sleep type, like it was bad. That is bad. It was really bad. That's terrible. That's why I'm not 6'6". Six, six. But, <laughs> but when I would go into those classes, like, no matter how hard I try to concentrate, I would just be like dazing off and instantly falling asleep. Even if the topic was something really interesting that I thought was like cool, like yeah, no and matter what it is. That's a good point too, where it's like sleep doesn't just affect your learning in like a like a macro sense. It affects like every part of your learning, your ability to focus, your creati- your creativity, your memory, your problem solving. All of that is impaired before and after your sleep. Like if you get bad sleep the next night, that means you're focus is impaired your creativity is impaired if you get bad sleep the night after you're learning something your learning is you're not going to remember nearly as much you're not gonna make those connections your problem solving on those ideas is just it's not as good and so. then also like and this is something a lot of cs majors will like talk about as well but when you're sleeping you actually solve like like your mind is actually working it's when you're sleeping your mind is actually working it's yeah. not just like resting your mind is not just like all right bro time to just shut it off for the day like your mind is really making new your connections making new like strengthening some neural like neural networks like it's doing a whole bunch of things that is actually really important and that's why for us and and like at least comp sci maybe math i feel like it applies to anything not even just like stem or just but solving a problem where you might wake up to them be like yo what like you wake up you're like yo that's that's the solution like i just i had it in my dreams or you just wake up and all of a sudden you're like oh wait that problem actually is like makes a lot of sense actually this is how i should have done it so learning is a huge, it's, it's huge, huge, crucial. Huge. Um, I think we've hit that enough. I know we have some other things we want to hit. Quickly, too. quickly rapid fire all of them, actually. Let, rapid let fire. people know all of them. Yeah, for sure. So sleep is going gonna, is gonna to worsen your immune system. Less sleep, worse immune system. Less sleep, worse athletic performance. Less sleep, higher hunger levels, and a correlated, uh, correlated to weight gain as well over the long term, which is actually one of the things he mentioned in the book was it might be correlated to obesity in America, our sleep, our sleep epidemic. Not surprised. Moving on. Anyways, uh, we said learning already. One interesting one was lack of sleep leads to an inability to read facial expressions and be socially adept in social contexts. I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, I feel like probably when you're asleep, you might just take things the wrong way. Someone might make like a certain facial expression. You're like, yo, bro, you trying to fight? It's like, nah, fam, I was just like no, That's the next one. Like your, uh, your, ability, your emotional control is just out the window. You, you get higher highs. Like you, um, you, you're actually addicted to more like carbohydrate foods and you like, don't want like protein and like vegetables a lot more when you look like probably because carbohydrates are good energy boy your body need that maybe and then the last one um this one's from mel shorter le- so- shorter sleep equals a shorter lifespan this, no okay Sorry, i said learning was important also athletic imp- performance is really important but lifespan like i'm trying to live to 100 i'm gonna be real with y'all i'm trying to live to 100 i just feel like that'd be cool just like you know hey yo grandpa's 100 you know but <laughs> so definitely not like when ben this is the part that really made me say okay i need to take my sleep serious i really do need to take my sleep serious but okay now like i mean a lot of things you went over things like i already kind of knew right mm-hmm. like in shorter lifespan you could probably like it's not. It's not yeah. like oh my god. Like people, it's not like a, a surprising connection. Right. Like oh, if I don't sleep enough, I'm not gonna get enough. I'm gonna live, you know, shorter. But I feel like there's a disconnect. Like everyone understands why we should be sleeping, uh-huh. but nobody actually does it. Is do you do you have like any any tips or anything to help? Like especially me, I, I need a- these any tips. tips? I, I need this tips or or when should we be sleeping or like anything okay, okay. that may help us. Okay, I got you. Um. One thing that you do need to understand is your chronotype. So your chronotype is essentially, uh, we all go to sleep at a specific time. You know, you get sleepy at a specific time and you wake up at a specific time, but it's actually different for everyone. So when you were a teenager and your parents were like, why are you sleeping in so late? It's actually not your fault. That's your chronotype. Um, Your circadian rhythm has a very distinct uh, pattern in terms of when you naturally fall asleep and wake up. So some people are more geared towards like, like they wake up at 5 a.m. and go to sleep at nine. They're called morning larks. That's just a name. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, And then on the other side, we have night owls and they'll go to sleep at midnight and even 
2 a.m. and wake up, you know, 8 a.m., 10 a.m. Um, and that's, that's like the whole other side of the coin. And there's actually like evolutionary reasons for that, which is like kind of cool, but I'm not going to mention I only mentioned that just because I'm a nerd and I just wanted to mention it. So if you're going to mention it, you got to bring it up. You can't just be like, yo, this super cool thing and just <laughs> not mention Like give a quick run now, like fair, really quick. Really quick. Uh, basically, it's more beneficial. Like when we're sleeping, right, mm-hmm. we're like basically incapacitated, right? So it's more beneficial for a population to have varied sleep times because that means a part of the population will be awake to protect ah. the people who are asleep, and so that's where that came from. So it's it's like it's like in the movies when they're like, you know, I, I got this shift, I got that shift. Yeah, but then exactly. They put a whole population, and then it's like natural shifts. Just oh, like so did I mean? Wait, that's wait. It's kind of interesting. But what right? did that mean that they put like the young? I guess the younger folks would be watching it and not like would be more responsible like not the kids themselves but like young adults they would be getting the night shifts compared to like the older folks because they're you know they're older right so yeah i mean naturally like teenagers do sleep sleep later like for yeah. sure there's actually a different reason as well for that but again whole different reasons a lot yeah. of it a there's lot a lot of, of reasons for a but lot of also things. i think i think there was another thing i i heard i don't know if this has related to what you wanted to talk about next but like yes the when the amount of hours you sleep is important but also something about like the time you sleep or is this a, this is for the next right? yeah 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 like really you should be spending you need to spend seven hours in bed i don't know how else to, there's no other way around that there's like it, that's just a fact i don't i cannot tell you anything else i can't there's I can't nothing do, there's, i can't do six no like like six i mean like two hours like no what, what, what you, you have a you legitimately have a better chance of being struck by lightning twice in your life than legitimately being able to sleep for six hours a night like, but, okay. like that's a study like that's not like me make that's actually a fact Okay, and but isn't this I, this is my theory? I don't think like, okay, if you go to bed, let's say you want to sleep seven hours, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, for me, it would be I wake up at seven. Um, right. So if I go to bed at twelve, but I can't go to bed at twelve because I won't be sleeping for yeah, you need, seven hours. You need seven hours of sleep, not seven hours of being in bed. Yeah. So like, the average person takes roughly like seven to ten minutes to fall asleep. If you actually if you're falling asleep in less than five minutes, you might be sleep deprived. And if you're falling asleep in like longer than 30 minutes, then you need to follow some of the tips later in this podcast to help you sleep a little faster. Okay. Um, but you should like what you said. You should probably spend like like whatever. You should be spending at least seven and a half hours in bed every I night. Probably, bro, no, honestly, one of the things that I plan on doing to one, so I can read more books, but two is like, um, so I can fall asleep is yeah. You know, get in bed 30 minutes before you like you're uh-huh. supposed to fall asleep and read a book. Watch that! Watch watch it knock you out. You you it will knock you out. out. You just read and just you won't even remember what you read the next morning. You just <laughs> read the same page every single night because you don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember what At you're reading. That time, swear put you right to sleep. Right to sleep, man. Right to sleep. But dude, it, honestly, when I look back at it, yeah, well, if it, I would have got like, what you at keep least, say, what, what's your like, what is your real experience with sleep? Because I know you kind of talked about it earlier, but like, like why? Why were you only getting like four hours? And like, how do you feel that like affected you like long term for real, for real? One, one, dude. I hope it. I hope <laughs> it didn't shave off any any time off my lifespan. That's a, that's what I'm worried about. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be real honest with you. It probably did. It probably did. Nah, it's alright. We gonna recover. You be alright. We gonna recover. I'm still young. I'm I'm still young. But I gotta I gotta fix it. You, now. You'll figure out a way. But to... for me, like sleep was one of those things. Or I don't know my parents. They they just were not like. Mm-hmm. They barely, they barely be, they barely sleep, um, and I don't know. I just, I put, I put so much on my plate that I guess like it's even when I look back at it now, like I do so much stuff that I don't think it's a lot up until like, until I realize like, oh wait, because I was so willing to sacrifice sleep. Like, yeah. That was like, I was just like sleep. I think, I think it's because I heard this thing. <laughs> those, <laughs> this is video. It's like those who sleep. It's like no. If you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I, ever since I heard that as a kid, I think that's what messed me up. I was just like, I want to succeed. Like, I can see that in you, sleep, like, for real. Like, who needs sleep? Like, sleep is for those who are broke. That's what I heard. Sleep is for those who are broke. And I was broke, and I was like, well, I'm sleeping too much, so that must be the reason why I'm broke. But no, seriously, though, um, I think it was just, like, one, not knowing how important it was. Mm-hmm. Like, no one stressed that. My parents weren't stressing that at all because they weren't doing it themselves. Right. And... And I just feel in terms of like, honestly, athletically, like unseeing how everything else unfolded in my life and looking back now, like uh-huh. sleep definitely did play a big part. Yeah, I wasn't weren't you actually there. supposed to be like 6'6"? Six, six? I don't know if I was actually supposed to be. Like Your six, arms six. are long. But like, his, his arms pro- are so I wear a size like 12 and a half, 13 shoe. Right. I have this like, my, I think my arms are like, 
they're almost my, as, like as big my, as my wings. Like yeah, like my, your wingspan is not that much different from mine. And Ben's like six what four or something. Yeah. Yeah, and then like even Draylon, he's like six four as well. Yeah. Like, my proportions, like oh, that everything like, else yeah. except my height, just doesn't add up. So maybe not six six, maybe like six three. <laughs> could have gone league. Probably slept more, got taller. Could have gone league. That's what everybody says. Yeah. Yeah, but if but, I was, you, but you were the complete opposite though. You got opposite ends of the spectrum. You yeah, no, were I was. Like, when I was a kid, my parents said I was the best sleeper like ever. Like they said, like raising me the child like when I was a baby was easy because I would just sleep all the time. They didn't mm-hmm. have to worry about. It. They were just like, yeah, Ben's asleep. And then mm-hmm. when I was a kid, I was that kid at the sleepover like in middle school who like eleven eleven thirty came around and it was too much. I legit could not stay awake no matter what you did. Like we could be playing like outside and I would I would still fall asleep. I'd be yeah. like, oh, it's time for me to like I would like I could just sleep in the grass. Like it was just that easy for me. I couldn't do anything. You no, know, that's it. like that's like me now. Whenever we go out, because no. like I'm I'm known <laughs> I'm known even I'm known for just passing out. Like as yeah. soon as it gets really around twelve o'clock, it's just it's just a it slow just, transition down to just. Yeah, Mel sleep. And I think just because my body's so sleep deprived that it's like, it yo, we're not playing this no more, boy. We're not you twenty years old, now you grown, you old, your body aching, Facts. your back hurts. No, I'm kidding. You, I'm not there yet. So with your experience, I want to ask you this. So you kinda of went from like one end of the spectrum kind of now to the other of like in terms of we're how trying. you value sleep. Okay, but yeah. you're, you're like you've done a really good job in terms of like like make, starting and going through that process. Yeah. Do you have any tips on like, or, or any ideas on how to get people to go from not valuing sleep to really valuing sleep? Oh, yeah, no. No, think about it this way. Think about it. Because, well, the way I think about everything is return on investment and return on time. Fair. Like, like um, it's to the point where it's actually... It might be a little toxic. It, but it might be a little toxic. But at the same time, though, I will say I don't got time to be wasting time. So I got to make sure I spend my time wisely. And what I realized was, okay... I want to do well in school. I want to do well athletically. Right. I'm trying to like walk onto the basketball team. That's and so lot. it's what is like is me staying up. I started to realize like think about it when you're late at night and you're doing some type of work, right? Whether you're doing um, you know, you're doing an assignment, you're finishing up some homework. Like is me staying up right now actually like actually that effective? Like am I getting as much done as possible as right. if, if I was wide awake? Like if I went to sleep now, woke up early, like okay, let's say like you don't you get the same amount of time. So my thinking is okay, if I'm doing homework, it's 12 o'clock, and I have to wake up at 7 tomorrow, right? Right. And I can either stay up two more hours. I can either stay up two more hours, try to get this done, and then, you know, go to sleep, get five, mm-hmm. wake up at 7, and then, you know, move on with the day. Or I could go to sleep at – I could go to sleep now, wake up at 6, lose just one hour instead. But I would probably, in that one hour that I – that, like, that one hour from 6 to 7, I could probably do everything that I was trying to do in those two hours staying up. Because you're more productive. Yeah, that makes sense. Because you're just way more productive. So you think about it in that terms, like, you are saving time by sleeping. Like, that's a lot of people don't understand. Like, one, if you want to be a better, if you want to, you know, if you're worried about athletic performance, you're going to see more gains in the gym. You're going to, you know, just feel a lot better. You're going to be a lot happier. And also, like, my mood, too, as well. Like, I I get very annoyed because during the day, I I realized that, like, I can't read. I can't, like, read a textbook Mm -hmm. during the day after a certain time. It's, like, after 2 o'clock or something because I'm just completely exhausted. Like, I I just easily, like, lose. I know. Start falling asleep. Like, and it's, and I know, and I realized it's because I'm just not sleeping. It's not because, like, it's 2 o'clock. Like, I shouldn't be, I should not be able to not read a textbook without, like, drowsing off sometimes, even though, like, it's, even if it's, like, a CS or a math textbook, like, I'm still super interested in, like, I read those textbooks and I actually, like, enjoy reading. I'm not going to lie. Like, I actually enjoy reading. A little nerdy out here. (laughs) But, but, so, I think for people, you have to start thinking, like, is me staying up, is me, like, not sleeping actually going to, like, benefit me more? Because if you're staying up to complete some work, you're more, you're better off just waking up earlier that day and just knocking out in the morning. Or if you're just staying up to watch TikTok, um... Please that's don't. just. We're, I'm Please. not even gonna get into that. I'm not even gonna get into <laughs> that. That's just useless. Like you, like every time I catch myself doing it, like I literally get so mad. I'm like, I just wasted okay. Okay, but 15 this, minutes staring at, at nothing. At the same time, this is still something that almost everyone does. No, everyone so does. So I this. like everyone does this. So Ben's trying to frame this in a nice way, but I'm at the point where I'm at. Like I'm like Ben's more further removed from it. Like <laughs> Ben doesn't need to be on his phone as anywhere close to as much as me. But um, it's very nice. Yeah, Ben. Like I he, enjoy my life. Life. He's he's at the point where really Ben's like where everyone should want to get to, but he's still you know, he still that. got places to be. I might have been I might have gone a little too far. We'll see. We'll see. Nah, I, I think perfect. Yeah, I think I'm you're, perfect. I think you're perfect uh, the way you, you are. Look at him. Thank he's you. just not cute. It's okay. 
maybe the sleep the sleep doesn't help with beauty. The beauty <laughs> sleep a real thing, obviously not. For, I'm kidding. But yeah, nah. For me, but again, to kind of answer your question in a more very concise way, right? Just think about it. Is just think about it like if if I'm staying up right now, is that actually going to be more valuable? There's some things where you just have to stay up. Like if an assignment is due, like it, at two, you, right? If an assignment's due at like a certain time, like it's due at like your teacher sets it like nine a.m. and you're like, there's no way I'm, I'm like I'm not. You know, like you're not gonna wake up at yeah. Or just, you know, so there's certain things where you have to, but most of the times, like it's better if you just go to sleep, wake up, and just try to knock it out right. there because you're gonna be more productive. Absolutely. So the core point: more sleep will have a better. You'll have a better life sleeping more. That's yep. that's all you need to know. That's like, that's it. If you're worried about productivity, if you're worried about productivity, it almost seems backwards. But you should sleep more. You should. Yes. If you're not sleeping seven hours, like to me, seven hours is like I'm like okay, I, let me. Right. Not, I'm not gonna give up a whole another hour, but I'll I'll do seven. On I'll a side point, seven. I I think I was watching. Sometimes I watch YouTube videos of Elon just because. Yeah. He's Elon, like, you know. Yeah. Um, and I think he said, you know, he used to have, like, some crazy schedule where he sleeps, like, five hours a night or something. Mm -hmm. And then I think I saw another video where he was talking, and he said that he actually had to sleep more because he realized him sleeping less was actually less productive. Okay? Yeah. So if Elon Musk can say that, um, and you, I'm pretty sure it applies to everyone else. And, and ain't nobody... Ain't nobody, nobody that's listening to this podcast, even me, is busier no, than word, Elon Musk. Yeah, no, that man is nobody no is busier than Elon and Musk. And if he can get seven hours, I promise you, you, you get seven, seven hours. It, like the your return on investment, your return on time, you sleeping is going to like your output is ten times yeah. more. Like we are really stressing better. this, but I cannot stress you enough. That is what changed my complete mind. That is what changed my you know value my value my value of sleep. I was like oh, that actually makes me 10 times better at everything right. else I'm doing if I just sleep more. Like, what am I, I was thinking if I don't sleep, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm putting in work. I'm, you know, doing more than someone else. Just because you're doing more don't mean you're doing it better. So oh, sir. that's the way, that's the way I would look at right. it and just, yeah. I think, I think, I think we've, we've uh, kind okay. of beat a dead horse now, on that point. But now, there's a difference between getting sleep and getting good sleep. Quality sleep is very important. Very, Quality extremely sleep is very important. important. It's but what are some, what are some of the worst things people do that messes up their sleep. Like Guys. they could be getting ten hours of sleep, but you know right. they're like, I feel horrible. I'm, I still feel bad. What What are some of the worst things people do? I wanted to talk about three things in particular. Okay, the first one is caffeine. Okay, caffeine. Caffeine keeps you awake. I think you you guys know that, right? But it also has a very long half life. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's like seven or eight hours. Yeah, meaning that like if you drink it at like two p.m like half of that caffeine will still be in your system when you're trying to go to sleep, okay? Yeah. And so that's very dangerous because when you have, like imagine drinking like half a co cup of coffee before you go to bed. That's it's, it's literally the same thing as drinking it at 2 p.m., okay? Yeah. So when you're drinking caffeine, you really keep it, don't drink it after 2 p.m., but try to drink it in the morning. Yeah, or try to like, sh first thing in the, like caffeine, because for yeah. me, I'm a very, I'm green tea. I'm like, I okay. don't drink coffee, I'm right. tea. Like I just, I just feel like there's a lot not that there's actually negatives. Like, I've, there's uh -huh. been research that says, like, you know, coffee's good to a certain point, right? It has pros and cons, yeah. Pros and cons. And it, obviously, if you drink too much, like, some people, like, I need four cups of coffee. or like, Yeah, that's like, too much. It may be a little too much. But morning, and again, like, to put what Ben was saying in Half-Life is, like, think if you take a cup of coffee at 2 p.m., that's the exact same thing, like you said, taking it at exactly 12. You are yeah, literally, like, literally before you're going to bed. Like, literally just a full, and, and then it, be like, all right, time for me to go sleep. That is ruining your sleep. And, and I want to say that, like, you don't feel it because a lot of people will be like, no, I do it and I'm fine. The thing is, you don't feel it exactly, but the quality of your sleep worsens so much. By a lot. Like, by so much that like, you won't feel yourself until you do it consistently, consistently, and then you start to ask, like, yep. man, like, why do I, I feel, feel so that? Yeah. bad? All right, what's the next thing? The next one, guys, is alcohol. Okay. I don't know how to stress this enough. Alcohol is it impairs your sleep okay it is not a, it does not help sleep okay it is a sedative meaning that it puts you to sleep in a way that is it doesn't actually help you sleep it just helps you go unconscious i guess if that makes sense so it's it's not really <laughs> so, so practically when you sleep in while you're drunk you're just being black you blacked out in, in a way yeah like you're just i mean i don't i don't want to say it it's not the same. Yeah, I don't no, i don't i'm not same. a doctor on alcohol and sleep so i'm i'm not too sure but the point is when you sleep with alcohol in your system, your sleep is fragmented. You actually wake up a bunch of times without knowing it. You're ruining um, your REM sleep, all, actually all stages of sleep. You won't remember anything, which is, there's an, actually another reason why you don't remember anything because your sleep is so bad that night that you're not gonna remember anything anyways beyond the alcohol, but yeah. that's a different story. Hey, uh, and um, there was one thing that was interesting. They did studies on how 
alcohol specifically affecting your sleep impaired your learning. Okay. And what they found was that let's say uh, you learn something on Wednesday. Okay. If you get drunk Wednesday night, you are going to retain 50% less of what you learned uh, a week from Wednesday. Okay. The more interesting thing was if you learn something on Wednesday and you get drunk, let's say on Friday or Saturday, you actually only retain 40%. Okay. So you lose, you know, you retain six, so you lose 40% um, compared to the 50% on that night, uh, which is really interesting because even days after you've learned something, that mm-hmm. alcohol and that bad sleep is still impairing your cognitive function and not just learning, but other realms too. You know learning what's is hilarious? just the study we have. You know what's it. hilarious about the two, like what we're covering right now? Yeah. These are all things the college students do. Like, yeah. every, like literally every that, that's, you know, yeah. drinking from yeah. you know not sleeping enough, using caffeine because yeah. they're like, oh, I'm so tired and everything. Like, we just college students are in this constant cycle of just doing all like yes. doing all these negatives to affect their sleep. When in reality, you know, you sleep like school may be easier. Like, just because you don't, like, for me right now, all I'm thinking about is, like, yeah, man, like, I'm really behind on my work, but forget that. I'm just going to get my sleep tonight. Like, that, like, no, so facts. serious. I'm just going to go get my sleep tonight. Like, I'm not even, I'm going to be like, okay, that's tomorrow's problem. I miss this one assignment. Yep. Cool, whatever. You know, they drop grades. Move but, on. guys, we're trying to break, we're trying to break you guys out this cycle. Please, please, please. please like, this episode sleep. is not very, like, we're not introducing any crazy new ideas, but this is probably one of the most important episodes, like, we yeah. made. There's actually, I actually think, after reading this book, sleep, I used to think of the three pillars of health as being exercise, diet, and sleep. I now think of it as sleep, and then exercise and diet are below it, if that makes sense. Like, sleep is the, no, the s- ultimate, like, not even ultimate. close. Like, and it's it's just, it blows everything else out yep, the water. I'm getting, I'm getting my seven hours, no more. After this, <laughs> I, I'm a changed man. Seven changed hours man. of sleep, no matter what. Going to 1130 in my bed, don't care. I don't sure. care. And if you, ca- if you catch me outside of that time, you didn't catch me then, okay? Tough. And last one. Last one, um, viewing bright light, okay? Well, we're not gonna hit this too hard in terms of science, but just know that your phones, you've probably heard this before, your phones, laptops, your devices, even your lights in your house, they emit blue light that give you a signal that it's daytime and it's really bad you know, after eight or 9 p.m. Um, because it, your brain is being told that it's daytime when you need to be going to sleep and yeah, so that actually really hurts your quality of sleep and you need to limit um, the amount of bright light that you're seeing after basically three hours before you go to bed okay so make sure you turn your brightness down when you're, when you're scrolling through tiktok we know you guys are doing <laughs> that just turn down your brightness at least or yeah. delete the app no i'm kidding turn on night follow shift me on mode tiktok something uh, follow me <laughs> i was like, I was like delete tiktok no nah, never mind follow me on tiktok <laughs> but okay um what are some now, of the best practices what are some the the, what, are, what are some you, like that you that have helped you sleep a lot mm, mm, <laughs> help you get me better. sleep but things that i want to do number one routine Okay. I think this is something, this is what I mentioned earlier in the pod where I was saying like, you know, isn't there, there's just, there's something about, yes, getting like, yes, you can get eight hours of sleep, but I've, I've been hearing a lot. It's like your consistency, like when you go to bed, yes. maybe important and like almost maybe just as important as how much you sleep. It might going to bed and waking up at the same time is the single most effective tip at getting better sleep, hands down. Like, but keep going. But okay, I, I actually want to ask this question. So let's say like I'm I'm like okay Monday through Friday I do uh-huh. um, 12 p.m. to seven right. Then on the weekends I'm like okay well what if I do you know obviously weekends so it's maybe like two to ten. Right. How is should I be consistent throughout the entire week from what you've read or should I or does that does that those days like like am I every day should be should every day be consistent or should my week schedule be consistent? Your every day should be consistent, okay? Like, it's the the best thing is for your every day to be consistent. Um, unfortunately, as society operates, uh, especially for our age, like, that's just not, it's just not, it's just not possible. So my suggestion is I personally go to bed at 11 and wake up at 7 uh, Sunday through Thursday, and then Friday and Saturday nights. Um, usually I try to be in bed by, like, usually one on Friday and two on Saturday. Mm-hmm. It depends on the weekend. Sometimes... I'll go to bed earlier, sometimes a little later, yeah. who knows. But try to get at least five days a week where you're very consistent, and that will help. Um, it doesn't need to be perfect, but at least start somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Next one, this is something you told me, was looking at a bright light. This is obvious. It's like, don't look at a bright light before you go to sleep, but look at the sun. Look at the sun. Look at sunlight. Not just a bright light, but sunlight. When you wake up. When you wake up. Yes. 
not before he goes, obviously there's not sunlight when you yeah. go to sleep. I would hope not. I would hope not. I would hope not, unless you are a complete, like, you are a night owl, night yeah, owl. You but, um, but, yeah, so I, I just complete. for no, some good. reason, I was thinking about night owls. I was like, what time do night owls actually wake up? Would they actually go to sleep when the sun is out? No. No, they wouldn't, so different. But, um, yeah, looking at a sun, just because, like, mm-hmm. something with your, it lets your brain know. Yeah. It lets your brain know, like, okay, it is sun outside. Like, we are based off of, yes. the sun is, like, our natural clock. It's, like, yeah. our natural clock letting us know, all right, it's time to go to bed, it's time yep. to wake up, sunrise, sunset. So that that will wake you up better than coffee, would it? Uh, I I look you feel like I it would because I've done yeah. it before. I remember it, no, when you it told will me wake that. You up. I like did it. I was like, I was like, because usually you know you wake up, you're like, Ugh, you're all grouchy, right. you know, it's like really hard. And I just I just walk over to my window to the, to the right of us right here, and I go, Doop. and it's like it's like the sun just <laughs> the rays just, yeah. just like some vitamin D just straight to a <laughs> <hey>, pause, <laughs> vitamin D just straight to your face. So definitely another one. Last this was one I, I low key you put this on here. I don't I don't take naps. I don't take naps. Okay. Let me say something about naps. I used to not believe in naps in high school. I am a full-fledged napper now. I am an old head. I love... Naps have actually boosted my productivity probably more than anything I've done in the past, like, six months. And to give you some context, we were actually meant to sleep biphasically, meaning that we, we, we're me- we actually are meant to sleep twice. So we have one long sleep that's about seven to eight hours, and then we've always had, you know kind of like a half hour, hour nap in the middle of the day, okay? Mm. It's very natural. I can say with absolute certainty from personal experience that a nap has improved my concentration, my just my overall mood, like how I feel, like just everything immediately. Like right after I wake up, I'm like, man, it's a good day. It's, yeah. it's a really good day. It's, it's, it's like good day part two. Like nah, it, I, it feels really nice. I will say, I take back though. I've, I've been, you know, obviously since I've been asleep enough, like sometimes I'll just have to take a nap. Like I'll, to, I'm like reading, I'm like trying to read the text, read a, like a textbook and I'm just, I can't, I can't do this right now. So then I'll just go take a nap and then it, it helps. I'm not no, it does. Lie. Pro it does tip, help. if you sleep, take a nap, like right after you learn something, uh, it actually help you learn that better. Um, <laughs> Just because, like, sleep helps you learn. So. Like, why are you sleeping in class? I'm learning better. Class. I'm, Stop I'm learning your class. Bro. I'm learning your class. That, that's interesting. I might have to take a nap after my 11 o'clock. I might have to. That, I sh- you know what? Usually what I do, I take a, like, a nap at, like, 1 or 2. And I think there's spots on campus where they're like, they're like, you can take a nap here. I mean, you saw me. I used to sleep on the floor. Like, That's just weird. <laughs> that's just weird. But, but last thing, last but not least, sleeping in the cold. Yes. And specifically saying about roughly 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, this is taking into account like that you're going to be in bed with like a blankets and whatever so it's like it's actually a little yeah, bit just, warmer but the 65 plus like your like room you're warm, yeah in your room the room yeah. should, the be, should be around the room should be around 65 so I, honestly this is like the one thing i would say most college students you and can most do people this. do yeah. like There's, most people do this out of naturally like i don't know i don't i don't know one person that's like i like to wake up drenched in sweat <laughs> like i haven't met one person that's like i just like to wake up drenched in sweat hot just that doesn't make any sense yeah that doesn't make, any, doesn't sense. make any sense so this all. one p I, Good job, everyone. Good job, everyone. We, if you if you weren't getting good enough sleep, at least you can feel good that you go to sleep at the about the right temperature. Maybe you're not at sixty five degrees. Maybe you're at sixty. Maybe you're at seventy. But and it, it, it shifts for everyone. It doesn't have to be sixty five. It can be a little little different. Don't, a little different. Don't worry about but, it. But so, again, to quickly hit on this routine, 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 mm-hmm. super important. If you can get your routine, get it. Get as many consecutive days of the same. Like you yes. know, going to bed, waking up, weekends. We get it. It happens. We understand. Number one, two. Look at the sunlight. Use that as your as your coffee. As you know, soon try as you that. wake up. Try just try that. Maybe you won't even need the cup of coffee. You just look at the sun, smacks you across it the helps. face. Cup of coffee, cup yeah. of Joe. Who needs it? Nah. Then naps, naps. I'm pretty sure a lot of people already do this pretty well. So we're not yeah. gonna. I'm not gonna get too much on naps. And I think here you said before 3 p.m. Yeah, try to do it before 3 p.m. Because if you do it afterwards, it might limit how well you can fall asleep later that night. And Man, also we try to sleep. sleep paradox right now. Yeah. Like, you just can't. It's like, ah, right, you need to sleep this much. You need to take a nap, but you can't do it. <laughs> sleep paradox. It is a lot. Also, sleep like around a twenty to thirty minute nap is probably the best time for most people, unless you can get a ninety minute nap. But I don't think you can. So, oh, stick wow. to twenty or thirty. That's interesting. And then, last but not least, sleep in a cold room. Yes, Any sir. last thoughts, Ben? Sleeping? You have some sleep aids. Or I anything? will say, yeah, I will say, um, if you can go online and find some some blue light blocking glasses. Uh, don't get the clear ones because those only block like forty percent. Try to get, um, if you can, try to get some red ones. Uh, 
those are the best i think like but, some real life yeah. like you look like you wearing shades yeah no, it looks really weird they make fun of me all the time but it's okay yeah. um that will help you fall asleep better uh it'll when you use your phone it'll like block the blue light uh, at night so put those on like two hours before you go to bed at least an hour half an hour that'll help a lot but that's all i got for sleep aids um i think it's time for my favorite part of the episode rapid recap well that's afterwards god damn it what no it's not yes it is we do rapid recap and then i i, I take my quote do we really yeah okay well we'll do my second favorite part of the episode you're the one that made this outline fam <laughs> You, why you have to flame me like that in front of the audience? Like you just had to let hey, them no, know. Hey, no, but that, that lets them know you the one really putting in work. <laughs> he, he's the one putting in work. I'm just here. You just. I'm just here. All right, so quick recap, guys. Um, your sleep affects every single part of everything. every part of your life of everything Physical, ever. Physical, mental, spiritual, Social. emotional, everything. Everything. Okay, that's why you should sleep. Um, you should be sleeping at least seven hours a night. Try to get seven and a half hours in bed. Realize that you have a chronotype, so you can sleep. Your sleep might be a little later or earlier. Don't use other people as a comparison. Um, and then for getting better sleep, don't drink caffeine. Limit your alcohol. Don't view bright light before going to bed. Also, you said, you know, routine, routine, routine. Um, view sunlight when you wake up. Please get a nap. I swear it helps so much. And also sleep at 65 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. That is all I have for a rapid recap. Please get more sleep. I promise you, your life will be better. Armel, take it away. And now for your favorite part, a quote from Armelicus Melius. And if I ever see you and you call me Armelicus Melius, I might give you a kiss. You will. And look how it rhymed. But <laughs> when sleep is abundant, minds flourish. When it is deficient, they don't. Matthew Walker. Very straightforward. There's, Very there's straightforward. No, no need to interpret this. Mm -mm. I'm pretty sure we hit... We hit it enough on you guys' heads. But thank you so much, you guys, for listening. This is probably a very important episode. One opinion. of the most important. Like, this is, this, you, know, I, you know, I was, I was like, building up to this episode. I was just like, man, like, I'm not even following these principles we hand out <laughs> here. But you guys hearing it now, Armel, change it's not man. a change, man, because I've already been on the process of change. Because change doesn't happen immediately. Let's not give the wrong idea. You're right. Change takes time. It is continuing. So I hope you guys start your journey of wanting to start sleeping more. And I will finally come to the end of this journey and start being consistent with my sleep because you know what? Nothing else matters than trying to get to 100. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping someone would be like, what? I was not at all the way I, I was like, that's the end. It was going to feel like you felt hard felt. You're like, oh, he's going to say something really emotional, but no. Nothing else matters besides but living, living to for a century. Living to a century. A blip in the time. Of I'll the be universe. that dude. I'll be that dude. But. Thank you guys so much for listening. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, mm -hmm. a, uh, Adapter Die. Um, follow us on TikTok, AOD Media. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like, share it to a friend that needs to get more sleep because I definitely know you know somebody. And check out check out AODFashion.com if you want some nice shorts. And eventually, we're going to be coming out with some winter drops to keep you warm so you can be rocking it, I guess, when your room is 65 degrees at night. Yes, sir. And I will say, I saw Mel the other day with all AOD gear, and I was like, are you a model? Like, what's... Hey. You were dripped out. I was hey. like, it, the, the toes are, the clothes are tough, guys. Uh, like actually, um, definitely check it out and peep the blogs. Yes, um, peep the blog. We may, we may not, we're not gonna have the blogs exactly on time, but you know, keep up to date with the blogs because I think it's, it, it'd be nice to go back, read them, and kind of get refreshed on everything we talked about. But it's been an absolute honor to just record and have this conversation with you, Ben, and have you guys listen. Make sure you follow us, like, subscribe. Peace.